Do you want to play with blocks? No. Do you want to sing a song? No. Do you want to play dress up? No. Come on, let's play the story of the little red hen. Please, we'll make a perfect cat. Please, please. Okay. Together? Sure! Let's make a cake! With pumpkin in it. Pumpkin Yum. is so good in cake. This is gonna be delicious. Okay. We can add some um, vegetables too to make it really healthy. Yeah, very healthy. There's your diamond necklace. Cool! What about sunglasses? 
You look super fancy. Thanks. What do you want to dress up as? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Want to play Country Mouse and City Mouse? Cool. Yeah. Here's my nice green meadow. Nothing but peace and quiet around here. I'm bored. And here's my big fancy city house. I need a vacation from all this excitement. I'll go visit my cousin in the country. The suitcase is perfect. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. You live far. Cousin, is that you? All the way from the big city. It's so good to see you. So, what do you do in the country? Uh, well, we could play in the grass. Okay. We could watch the stars. Uh, okay. We could look for food. Sometimes I find a nut or berries. Or we could eat what I brought. I've never seen so much food. This is nothing. The giants that live in my house leave stuff like this all over the place. Whoa. So, what do you do in the city? Well, I guess you could say we count the stars too. But in the city, there are big, shiny, flashy lights in every color of the rainbow. Whoa. Yeah, it's mostly going from one adventure to the other. The city sounds amazing. I wish I could visit you. Okay, let's go. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. Welcome to my mansion. Looks like the giants left quite the feast. This is awesome. We need a city cat. Oh, right. Uh... I got it. You eat. Okay. Mmm. Tasty. That's enough adventure for me, thanks. I miss the nice, quiet country. Oh, well, come visit any time. You too. And so, from then on, the country mouse was grateful for his peaceful life in the country. And the city mouse was grateful for a crazy life in the city. And, and they, they both, both lived happily ever, ever after. So, what should we dress up as next? I think I saw some pig ears back there. Cool. Ready? Set, go! <laughs> I got okay. this. All right, and that goes there, and this goes there. Done, I win. I'm so fast, I'm like lightning. Yes, I win. Slow down. You know what game I think we should play next? What? The tortoise and the hare? Look, I'm sorry for bragging. seen anyone faster than me? I don't think so. Hi, Hare. Tortoise? Is that you? You are so slow, I thought you were a rock. How do you think your friends feel when you say they're slow? You always brag about how fast you are. I challenge you to a race. Are you joking? We'll race around the field to the finish line. We need a finish line. On it! Ta-da! Nice! I'll 
just plant these in the field. Now we're ready for the race. Come on, tortoise. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, wow, I'm fast. Hey, tortoise, did you give up yet? Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> You're so slow, I could eat all of this food and still win. Mm, looks quite delicious. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> hey, tortoise, you're so slow, I can take a nap and still win. All that food made me quite sleepy. Just one quick nap. I told you slow and steady would win the race. What? Oh, no! What? That's not fair! You might be fast, but you have a lot to learn about being a good friend. Good race. You know, he never gave up. Good race, my friend. And from then on, the tortoise and the hare became very best friends. We should have a contest to see who can jump the highest. How about we just jump together? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Are you behind the costumes? No. Okay. Are you behind the bookshelf? Boom! Ah! You scared me. Sorry. Hey, do you want to play Chicken Little? Sure, as long as I get to be the fox. All right. Here you go, little guy. I'll get an acorn. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Just... Walking around the farm. I'm a big, tall tree. Walk under me. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Just hanging out. My acorn. Ah! My head! Wait, what hit my head? I don't know. It must have been the sky? Help! Help! The sky is falling! Help! You make a great chicken. Now I'm going to be the head. Oh, no, 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 no. Help! Help! This sky is falling! Chicken Little, what's wrong? Henny Penny, Henny Penny, a piece of the sky fell and hit me on the head. And now, the rest of the sky will probably fall and smush us all. The sky is falling? The sky is falling! The sky! The sky is falling! Help, help! Now I'll be the duck. The sky is Henny falling. Henny Penny, what in the world is going on? Oh, Ducky Lucky, the sky! The sky is falling and it's gonna smush us all! Oh no! The sky is falling? The sky is falling! Help! 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 The sky is falling! Now I'll be the fox. No, 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 no. Help! The sky is falling! Oh, Ducky Lucky! What's the problem? Oh, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling and it's gonna crush us all. And you're sure why? Well, Henny Penny told me and Chicken Little told her. And you're telling me. So it must be true. Come, we better take cover. Here, quick, come to my den. Thank you, Foxy. Yes, this feels much safer. And what about a little duck dinner? A what? Ah! Ducky Lucky ran away from the tricky fox. And Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky learned that whenever they're scared, just to take a deep breath and be calm instead. And they all lived happily ever after. Okay, my turn to count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.